Hello guys, welcome to another vlog. We are now in San Diego and I've met up with Leisha and Tina. Do you guys wanna say hi? Hi! We're at our Airbnb and before I got here, you guys already got some croissants. What was the bakery called again? Wayfair. Wayfair, oh nice. Oh my god, Same wow. Ready. We are cutting up all the flavors so we can try everything. So we have, what do we have again? We have a plain croissant. A citrus pistachio. Oh, damn. Citrus. A jalapeno and cheese. Yay! And almond croissant. Yay! Uh, I'm so excited. Yay. And San Diego is so nice. Just based on my small little drive here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, our first meal in San Diego. We are going to the taco stand. Apparently tacos in San Diego are just like unreal or just Mexican food in general. So we are here. These are all the available tacos. Oh my God, this is amazing. We are here. Wow, look at this. This looks so good. Oh wait, let's do the one that we all got, the pork. Oh yeah, 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 okay. Wow. Mm. Mm. This is the pork one. Oh, the pineapple is so good on this. Wow. Hello guys! Okay, we just got back from tacos and we also went to Trader Joe's, of course. I'm gonna do a little haul. We actually are trying some new things. So, the first thing is this tortilla chip chili lime flavored thingy. Tina says it's really good, so. This we already tried last time when I was watching the Super Bowl and we also tried it with Michelle, I believe. We're trying this for the first time, the almond butter puffs. As we know, the almond butter chocolates are fire. But this time, they didn't have any. Like, literally just kill me. Anyway, we also got like four or five bottles of wine. It is Leisha and Tina's first time trying Jaylor, especially the Seven Oaks one. If you have watched all my favorite videos, you will already know this is my favorite wine. I've featured this wine a million times. This is the Seven Oaks bottle. I also went to the wine tasting, as you guys saw from a previous vlog, and got a different wine, but this is the standard one that you can get from grocery stores. We also got some brie and some charcuterie stuff, and what else? <gasps> Wait! I want to show them milk. <laughs> we got oat milk, but there's one in blueberry lavender and one in chocolate oat. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, and we also got fig butter. I think fig jam is still better, but this will do. It'll still get the job done. Okay, and then we are going to set up our little charcuterie in our airbnb yay so this is sage if i if you haven't already met him i've been cuddling him all day every day he's so cute hello guys happy wednesday in san diego i am currently just by myself because tina and leisha are currently still working and i decided to go for a little drive um and get myself some coffee because well i have nothing else to do i'm actually i'm kidding i actually have a lot of work today but um part of the reason why i had to kind of like go out is because i had such bad energy like i think i'm pmsing or something like i'm just so sad like the littlest things make me sad and like nothing to do with this trip like if anything the girls have made it so much better for me and i'm just like you know like laughing and smiling with them but like there's just some other things kind of like going on in my personal life that like wasn't a big deal like i guess even like a few days ago and then i think like that in combination of my pms now it just seems like it's exponentially worse even though like it's like nothing new, but now I feel way different about it. Like, I don't know, does that ever happen to anyone? I actually think it's kind of like self-growth a little as well because I think a few years ago, I would PMS and like not realize it was PMS and like the emotions would feel so real and not saying they're fake, but it's just like your emotions from something just become so escalated. If you're a guy watching, like you'll just never understand. So if you have a girlfriend, just honestly be like so much more understanding to her. But it's like, I used to not know and just like completely unregulate my emotions and just kind of 
let it be but now I'm trying to really like be more aware when I'm PMSing and trying to be more in control of my emotions because I actually realized yes like it definitely is real but um, at the same time I think like it also a lot of it is just due to hormones and stuff anyway that's kind of how I'm feeling but like thankfully I'm in such a beautiful city and so what I think is gonna really help me is just kind of like take a walk along the beach and just kind of like you know be I don't know like pensive or whatever <laughs> reflect I even brought my journal because my journal always helps me when I feel sad so I brought like a beach towel I'm just gonna walk over with my coffee and drink my coffee and kind of just like journal but um, I'm excited to bring you guys with me the coffee shop that I'm going to is a local coffee shop so it is called bird rock coffee roasters I coincidentally parked right in front of it so this is what it looks like and um, Leisha says it's really good so I'm very excited to try Okay guys, it is the same day. I've had my emo moments and now we are out having lunch. We're having Italian. This neighborhood is so cute. Like we took a really cute picture here that I will show you guys just like in between all the palm trees. But yeah, like this entire neighborhood is too, too cute. Like look at all these umbrellas. Oh my gosh, this is too adorable. Okay. We are here at the Italian restaurant. This is the restaurant that we're going to called Piatti. And oh my God, also did you know there, we don't need to wear masks, this is wild. We got some bread. This dipping sauce looks unreal. It's like balsamic vinegar with olive oil and Parsley and what is that? Garlic. Oh chili. my god. Yeah. <gasps> Spicy chili for sure. I see. It. Yes. We're getting bread, even though we have been playing this game called Kill Screw Mary Carbs Edition. Bread, rice versus noodles, and we all agreed to kill bread, but you know, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> we're marrying noodles. No, we're kidding. We're fucking noodles. <laughs> yes, fucking and noodles. Here for oh, the sorry. Thank you. And voila. Okay, one of these out of your way. The only vegetables we've consumed <laughs> so last far. 24 hours. Yeah, we're gonna poop good tonight. <laughs> oh my god, this looks so good. Okay, so we were each in charge of picking a pasta dish, and this is everyone's choices. It looks so amazing. Also, this garlic, like balsamic vinegar, olive oil situation was a game changer. Okay, we are walking down this street and to the beach. Oh my god, this is so cute. We are currently at Liberty Station in San Diego. We want to go to this really cute store here called Pigment. Alicia really wants to go, but for now, we're going to go into this coffee shop right here called Moniker General to get some coffee. This is so cute. This entire area is actually super cute. So let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, wow. Oh, this is such a cute coffee store. <gasps> this is so cute. Okay, so we are currently at Fashion Valley. And this mall is so fancy. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I love being in a mall. I love shopping. I'm currently in Nordstrom. I came here for a pair of Chanel loafers and they didn't have it. They've been sold out of that pair of Chanel loafers for like a million years. So I found these instead in my size and we're probably gonna get them. So GG my wallet. Okay, also these guys fault. They said it was really good. <laughs> They've influenced me to get this. We've influenced Leisha to get a bidet. <laughs> yep, she's gonna get a bidet where I'm gonna get these shoes. 
FML. Oh my god, whatever. No, this is a good thing. After spending a bunch of money for Prada loafers, we are currently at a Japanese grocery store seeing if we can buy some snacks. What should we get? I definitely really like chips, but what kind of chips? So. Can you be a snack salesman? Yeah. <laughs> only only like snacks coffee. and bidet. Yeah. After you eat the snack, you can use your bidet. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to find you the, the other one that is, you know, like it, it will explode. Like, you know, like, <laughs> what the enthusiasm, the passion. <laughs> She's stressed. <laughs> Feel the oh my god, is this what I think it is? Oh wait, hold on. Okay, it's not, it's not. I tried these cookies. It's like this thin Wayfair cookies with like a slice of like cheese flavored cream or whatever. And it was so good and it was Japanese. I don't know what it is called, but then like magic. Yeah, okay, I'll get it. <laughs> You're gonna like that one. It's really interesting. It's really good. It's really good. Okay. Wait, do you want to get one too? I'm okay. I'm so full. Okay. Cool. okay, so when I was younger, my mom used to buy these like udon packs and they're like in they're like in the freezer and it would have these like popcorn things and they're so good. Like when I grew up, I kept on looking for them and I think they like the company went bankrupt or something, but I never have seen the popcorn things like ever again. Oh, you know what? This one is like very similar to the popcorn thing, except it's like a little bit different. It's like a bigger piece. Oh, we are gonna give this a try. Should I get this too? Yes. You guys can all have a bite. Yes. Maybe except for Leisha. Just kidding. Leisha literally gave up instant noodles for five years. Like I don't know how that's possible, but it is my literally like my guilty pleasure. Okay, we are currently at Leisha's favorite Japanese uh, restaurant in San Diego. This is what it's called. And apparently, they just have such a great assortment of everything, which we're gonna get all. Our money dial on food, the limit does not exist. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Sea urchin and scallop? Yes, everything and anything. I love being friends who have this attitude. Exactly. Best time. Okay, the first dish we have. Have some scallop and sea urchin. Oh my god, is that caviar at the top? Wow. We got some udon and some sashimi. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm so excited. Okay, apparently you're supposed to put your wasabi on your fish instead of wasabi on in the soy sauce. Oh, I'm definitely gonna try this. This looks really good. Ooh, how is it? Good? Okay. More food. Oh my god. We also got some rice and deep fried oysters. Oh my god. This looks so good. Oh my god. Okay, Tina's on the call, so I'm trying to be quiet, but I'm gonna try this. First bite. Hello guys, okay, I just finished getting ready and we also tried the instant noodles. I did show the footage, I was just trying to eat so quietly because Tina was on a call, but it was so good. I really miss like these Japanese instant noodle type of things. But anyway, today is like our third day in San Diego. It is finally fully sunny and not super windy so far. It's been very, very cold. We actually kept on wanting to go surfing, but it just hasn't happened because I guess we've just been extremely cold. It's been also very, very windy. But anyway, basically today we are going to eat some more Mexican food. We're also gonna hit up the this like Hawaiian poke shop. I'm just really excited because I just love the way we've been traveling here. Like I'm just so over the way I used to travel. The way I used to travel was just, I traveled as though it was like my last time 
in that country or that city and I just would pack my itinerary to the brim basically just exhaust myself and I've just been really enjoying what we've been doing which is not actually too too much like we just really enjoy each other's company we drive around mostly to eat food and we kind of like see everything but it's not as aggressive as the way I have traveled before and I think this is going to be me moving forward because it gives an incentive to come back again and also it actually makes your travel just way more enjoyable and not super rushed and super anxious but anyway as you guys saw yesterday i went to ulta for the first time and it was wild i think i actually am gonna make a tiktok video on my first time going to ulta i don't know if it'll be up by the time this vlog is up but i think it's gonna be hilarious because honestly like i didn't even know what ulta had to offer like i had no idea if it's like a department store or a drugstore or whatever it was like i obviously knew it was like beauty oriented but i was just kind of like what tier of beauty are we dealing with the answer if you guys are also not from the united states of america is everything it literally has things from like drugstore makeup like you'll have all the drugstore brands like l'oreal maybelline etc and then all the way to chanel i'm like very confused but i guess it's like very nice that's all one stop shop even the hair products they have like costco bulk size products for like hair and it's not just your typical like pantene dove like whatever which is what costco has it actually has like legitimate hair brands and then they even have like a salon section in the back which was also once again like so wild to me but anyway i wanted to do a little haul of all the things that i actually got from ulta the first time and and I will kind of explain the reason behind each purchase as well. So that way, you know, if you're also from Canada and you are looking for some inspo, um, maybe this will also help you. Starting off with the first thing, I got two products. They're both like fashion products. The first one is liquid fashion tape. I just thought this was so interesting. I don't have like an occasion that I need it for right now, but I definitely think it will be very, very helpful in the future. So I think this is basically like a roll-on adhesive, so it will make your clothes stay. It will definitely come in handy one day. Things like this, another reason is because all of the things that I bought today are things I cannot find in Canada, and that's why I bought them, because otherwise all the other things in Ulta I can pretty much either buy in a drugstore or buy on Sephora. But something like this, like if you even search the Amazon Canada website, like you can't even really find this on Amazon they definitely don't sell this in any of like the shoppers Linden drugs whatever and it's also definitely not at Sephora the other thing that's really similar is fashion tape so this is like another version of the liquid adhesive but this is more like just a tape so I'm gonna try it out and let you guys know how it goes hi Tina doesn't she look so cute? You're so monochrome. Thank you. The next thing that I got are just some items from Glamnetic. And although Glamnetic does ship to Canada, the last time I ordered from Glamnetic, they did me dirty and made me pay for duty. So what the hell? Anyway, because of that, I decided to just get Glamnetic like here and then not have to pay for duties. But I also got a set of lashes and I also got two um, magnetic eyeliners and it's just like a nice restock because I actually finished all of my magnetic eyeliners back at home. The next item that I got is a feminine wipe. This is like super great for traveling and just to have on you. Um, and the reason why I bought this isn't because you can't buy it in Canada. You can. Usually I use the Sweet Spot Labs ones, but um, because I've just never heard of this brand. I wanted to try this brand and see how I like it because um, the only other brand I've ever tried was the Sweet Spot Labs, which I love, but um, I just thought I could also give another brand a try. And then the last thing that I got is Travel Mousse. It is so hard to find Travel Mousse anywhere. The only one that I have is from Living Proof, which I love as well. I bought from Sephora, but that one was really expensive. I think this one is not as expensive and it's by Redkin and I also want to see the performance of it but my usual full size mousses don't come in travel size which is so annoying so I was able to find this and I'm gonna give this a try but that is pretty much it and I'm excited to bring you guys along today to the beach to our coffee to all the other foods and yeah we're back at Bird Rock Coffee and we've got little Seiji right here 
Alicia says this place is amazing. It's called Homestyle Island. Oh, Homestyle Hawaiian Island. Oh my god, I'm like trying to cross the road. I can't read this. Homestyle Hawaiian Island style food. Let's go with the flow. Ooh. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I thought spam would be on top. You go. How is it? Amazing. Are you ready? Have a bite. This looks amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh. Just finished that Hawaiian dish. Such a good call. That was like one of the amazing. best things I've ever had in my entire life. All right, camera ran out of battery, but as I was saying, we just had the best Hawaiian food and now we are gonna go get some tacos and some ceviche. So it's just right next door. It's called Oscars. This was actually recommended by my friend Chloe Reese and here we are. sampling some tea. I know. Thank you. What's the first tea? The first tea that I'm seeking is our honey orchid oolong. It's one of Ooh. our most popular. Have you heard of it? No, yeah. I just love oolong. Yeah. <laughs> Any kind of oolong. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, look at this kettle. Yeah, it's really great for temperature control, especially since each tea kind of has its own temperature that it lights. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So for green teas, they're a little bit more on the delicate side, so you actually need to steep them at a lower um, temperature setting. Wow, this is very helpful, because I do not do that. So sometimes if, they, um, if you put too hot of water on green tea, it actually will burn it um, and give you kind of like this bitter taste mm -hmm. as well. Right now, I'm just um, warming up my Gai Wan for oolongs. This is a great way to pull more flavor from your oolong. Whoa. What's the pig for? Oh, that's my tea pet. <laughs> tea pet. So, um, and then what's also cool about it is that it's made out of essential clay. It's very porous. So when you pour tea over it, it actually will hold onto the aroma over time. Especially if you just steep only one tea with your tea pot, it'll start smelling like a favorite tea. My favorite pig. <laughs> we did. We have one cat. It's the uh, the one in the front. It's uh, the tips and tricks that you learn and pick up. Oh. Um, this one that I'm wearing right here is our Dragon Well green tea. Wow. So I'm just going to flash rinse my oolong leaves to wake them up. Oh, so you only um, steep it for like that few seconds? Oh yeah, so um, I was just rinsing my oolong leaves because normally oolongs oh. are rolled. So you need to kind of give it like a flash rinse just to wake up the leaves and unravel I see. a little bit. Wait, so this is matcha before? It becomes um, the powder. Oh. So it's um, called Attention Leaves. Um, it's been shade grown for at least three weeks, so it has a really nice smooth flavor. But what happens is that instead of um, drying it out like a normal green tea loose leaf, it is um, thrown into a stone milk um, and the funnel on top. This is usually bigger in proportion in Japan, but we went, we had ours made specifically for this as our store. We put it in the top of the tunnel and it'll start running down um, between the two stones and it'll turn into a green powder. Nice! <laughs> is that how matcha is normally made? Mm -hmm. So ours is 
going to be very fresh. So you can see how green that is. Wow. But if you compare it to our house milled matcha, ours is a lot more vibrant. It's so good. So this is the more higher quality one? Yeah, that's our um, house milled. So, I mean, it's still like good quality ceremonial grade. It's just very fresh that we yeah, still it does it. smell really fresh. Yeah, even the color looks more vibrant. Mm -hmm. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. Wow, this is so good. Wholesome cheers. Okay. Ready? Second tea. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, I got the hojicha tea because I wanted to get the matcha, but um, it's already almost 4 p.m. and your girl is sensitive to caffeine, so this one is apparently lighter, so. All right, guys, we are in San Diego. We refused to buy a little tea bag, but we cannot promise whether or not we are gonna walk away with a cat or not. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay guys, we are currently at Black's Beach and this is so incredible. There are a bunch of people here that are just parachuting. Oh, no, wait, par okay, so we're actually gonna try to be one of these people. I've always, always, always wanted to paraglide, like literally always. So I'm very down. There are so many paragliders here. Also, these girls convinced me to go on a date on this trip, so we opened up Hinge, and literally the first dude that responded, <laughs> we're, we were like, we were like, um, so, you know, cause I, okay, I didn't want to ever go on a date because I don't like to be away from the girls, you know, or just like my friends, I just don't like that. But they're like, oh, we're down to meet him. So now uh, we invited him to join us. And this guy was so fast at responding. He's like, I'm down. So this is happening, people. But yeah, we're at Black Beach, and it's beautiful here. So I'm gonna show you guys the view. Okay, so these girls both are in very serious long-term relationships. I have not gone on a date in a year, okay? I was like, wait, 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 guys, guys, like, what do I do? What do I say? Also, does anyone have gum? <laughs> Wow, this is so nice. We finally made it to the bottom. We're gonna chill here for a little bit. I really wanna go paragliding. I want that to be me. Hello guys, we are back at our Airbnb after being at Black Beach, right? Black, Black. Beach. Yes, and um, currently I am eating a bowl of cereal with banana. This is actually really fire. So it's basically the almond butter cups from the earlier haul from Trader Joe's with the blueberry lavender oat milk. How is it? It's so good, do you wanna try? Yeah. And I added banana. I love adding banana to my cereal is just so good. Anyway, the reason why I'm eating this as our last day in San Diego is because, so the date, first of all, I made him come to us and made my friends be there. This is like my first date after a whole year and I didn't even know how to date. I literally brought my friends. But anyway, we like came home and then we're gonna go out again and we literally had like a debate on whether or not I should go So like, you know that thing where it's like, oh like when guys think that they've like scored or whatever But it's really like the debate of like a group of women like his fate is like a debate of a group of women It's like, you know when a guy like asks a girl to go home with him at a bar or whatever if she says yes the guy thinks that you know, it's him and he's like, oh my gosh, she said yes to me. But like in reality, there was like a group of women who like gathered together to discuss his fate. Yeah. And whether or not like you, you should go home with him. This is like this date. It's like he asked if I wanted to go out again. And then I wasn't like an immediate yes. I was like, what do you guys think? Should I go? And then after like a whole ass debate, I'm going. Anyway, hopefully it's worth it because he's extremely hot. <laughs> 
This was like our first reaction. We're like, this guy is extremely attractive. But anyway, that is one of the factors. We are going biking. It's one of my favorite things to do. And biking and I think drinks or whatever. So I'm just gonna quickly eat. I have a little bit of work left, but I will let you guys know how the day goes. Oh my God, and this is Sage. You're so cute. Oh my God. I'm gonna be a cat lady because of him. Look at his folded ears. He has no ears. Hi everyone. Okay, so it is Friday and we are leaving San Diego today. So we are stopping by Bird Rock Coffee Roasters again for some coffee. I'm inspiring Leisha to get the honey bee. The drink is so good. I recommend everyone getting it. I'm probably gonna try something new today, but um, our car is super, super duper packed. It is like this car is just amazing. We have like five suitcases. Oh, there's Tina. Oh, do you want it unlocked? I am taking the girls to where my date took me yesterday because it was really nice. So now we're back during the daytime. But basically, last night, my date literally took me on his bike and we rode along all of this entire area and it was so beautiful at night. But it is just as nice during the day. Like, look at this. Isn't this so nice? We are at Brandy Melville. There's one in Vancouver and it's always, there's always a lineup, so. Oh my God, there is Brandy Melville parking? I could have just parked here? Oh well, anyway. Oh wow. Hi guys, okay, we just finished shopping at Brandy Melville and we all bought so much. I bought 19 items, but only spent, well not only, but I mean for, Due to the fact that it was 19 items, it was actually a lot smaller than I thought. It was like $315, but everyone bought stuff. It was so fun. We're on our way to LA now, but we're stopping at this Taiwanese restaurant. I looked at it online and it looks so legit. If you guys didn't know, I'm Taiwanese. Tina is actually also Taiwanese and everything in here looks so authentic. Like a lot of Taiwanese restaurants in Vancouver and Toronto aren't really authentic like they they are authentic but it's like i don't know i'm fucking like full-on taiwanese and i don't like taste the authenticity like to another level but this visually looks so authentic like everything here in taiwanese it's called ba wan and um i just never see it anywhere and i'm just so excited let's go in really small and quaint and oh my god look at this sign nine dishes for three people okay this is what we are getting we are getting it's not uh stinky tofu but whatever good enough we're getting some taiwanese appetizers definitely some oh my god this is my favorite noodle soup i'm just so excited our appetizers are here this is basically like it would be like equivalent to like korean kimchi stuff this is what taiwanese people eat as their side dishes there's tofu in that, right? Right on the bottom, the back nice. And then this is cold cucumber. Taiwanese people make the best cold okay. cucumber. Let me yes. open okay. it. Yes. Oh, yum. Some of the other Taiwanese dishes that have arrived. This is, oh my God, this is so traditional and so nostalgic for me. This is all I ate as a kid growing up. Sticky rice. Right? I can't believe I'm eating this right now. Oyster omelet. Oh my god, and um, this is so good, so nostalgic. Oh my god, the best rice ever. Okay, we are here in our hotel. This is Hotel Irwin. Here is everybody. We have so much food for people who are here for two nights. Like this guy was definitely judging us, but that's fine. Okay, time to get ready. <gasps> Seiji, let's let Seiji out. Oh my God, we're ready. Yay, we are we're ready. ready. We're ready. Hello everyone. As you know, I bought 19 items from Brandy Melville. So we're gonna do a quick little haul. As you can see from this gigantic pile and Sage, oh my God, Sage, say hi. That was him saying hi. So this is my new accessory. He's so cute. Say hi. Oh my god, he's so cute. He's gonna be the new star. Okay. As I was saying, 
thing. Oh wait, does this match you? Is this why I got this? Okay, me and Leisha got this, and the reason why we got these shorts is because it matches so many things. We got a San Diego shirt. As you know, every city I've been going to, I've been getting a shirt. I don't know why, so I got a San Diego shirt. I actually got two, but those shorts matches that shirt, this tank top, and I think that's it. So I got that as a first thing. This is by far the favorite thing that I got. I'm like really obsessed with these button up t-shirts. This one is linen and it is also like in stripes of light green. It's so cute. I'm definitely gonna be styling this. I saw Alicia style it with these shorts and then the three of us, we all got these shorts. So the, it's the same shorts but in a different color and it's like this matching light green color. So we're gonna match it with that. And then I also got two dark green shirts. So this one is the oversized shirt. This one is in a more fitted shirt like this. Pretty much it. In terms of the other things, okay, I'm gonna go through two or three of my other basic items. I got another San Diego shirt. It's so cute. It actually looks really great with the skirt together. At least that's what Tina said. That's why I said yes. And then we got this Los Angeles shirt. You know, might as well just pre-get it because we're technically in LA right now. Also got three basic white items. So one of them is this tank top here. This one's kind of see-through, but it's actually very cute, especially if you wear a bralette. And I mostly wanted to wear it under this green shirt with these shorts and then i also got a little bit of an oversized white t-shirt i also got a fitted white t-shirt three of these socks i've been eyeing these socks for a while i really wanted to pair it with the prada loafers that's pretty much it in accessories and then also these headbands so i got the navy blue headband gray and then a claw clip okay we're going to dinner now where are we going again market bed Okay, we're going to Marca Venice for dinner, so we will see you there. Venice! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh it's not. Oh, this is definitely not cold. Oh, oh my god! Yo, I am obsessed. We need the cheers, ladies. Cheers. We got the oysters. We got some pasta. Ourselves. We got more clam and we got more oysters. Yay, cheers! Oh my god. So nice. Basically, I am extremely hungover. Apparently, we even went out yesterday. I have absolutely no recollection of that at all. Like, at all. I literally thought we didn't make it out because I was I got so drunk, but that was not even the case. I actually did go out. And now I am suffering. <laughs> it's so hard to exist. We are at the Venice Canals, LA edition. Oh my god. So nice. As mentioned, basically last night we went out. I was extremely, extremely hungover. I'm feeling a lot better now after a major cuddle session with Sage. And now we are out. And I cannot believe Teresa is actually coming. So basically, we said she should come and then she just literally booked a flight and now she's on her way and I'm picking her up in like an hour. And yeah, she's gonna join us for this part of the LA trip. Oh my God, that's such a vibe. That is such a vibe. If you are watching this and you live in California, are you just like a very happy person? Like we think that if you simply just lived in California, we're guessing that you must just reek of happiness and just like the sun, the weather, just, I don't know. Let us know. Do you just reek of happiness? This is all from a fucking drunk decision. Oh what the heck? First time at Kazunori, yes. We are now biking. It is so beautiful. I am so happy. Yay! Say hi! 
Okay, so now we are in Santa Monica and we are gonna get some dinner at Sugarfish and we're also going to be food hopping a little bit. So one of the first places we're going to is this modern, I don't know, what is it called? Dan. Dan. It's like, it's really cute. I'll show you guys, hold on. Here we go. Sunday. Today is our last day in LA. I just dropped off Leisha at the airport and Tina is going to meet up with her boyfriend now. So me and Teresa have the full day to ourselves. This actually worked out so well because the fact that Teresa is here, I was originally going to be spending today completely alone, but now we get to hang out. So we're going to actually go for our COVID test right now because we are going back to Toronto tomorrow, but we also have a jam packed day. So extremely excited to show you guys what we are doing today. I also need to stop by Target to buy another suitcase because this is getting ridiculous, but we are also going shopping again today. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to Melrose Place, I think, or whatever yeah, it's called. Take, like, um, that area. There, so. Yeah! Please so be taking excited. me around. I'm so excited. All right. We are currently at CVS. We are at the drive-through, just waiting for our turn with the appointment. We will document the whole thing. We have our recruiting. CVS, yeah, we're recording. Testing time. <laughs> Unboxing time. <laughs> so we've got our, how do we do this? No swab. Do we okay, literally just swab our nose and put in the vial. And that's it? That's it. Um, you open the vial and then, oh, okay. Oh, and that's it. Yeah. Okay, then why did that other person take like five well, million I guess they years? Had okay, so you peel it open and then you have to break the thing in half to fit it in the vial. Okay. But why is my vial like, <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Okay, how far are you sticking it up? Pretty far. Okay, I me like, too. I don't want to have an inconclusive result. Me too. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four. Oh, that's deep. Five. Oh. I got other nostril. One, two, three. Ew, I never thought I'd be recording myself. Oh my god, I know. I'm gonna cheer up. Oh my god, that's so high. Okay, I think that's good. And then you just go put it like, yeah. <laughs> At the halfway point, there's oh, a- Oh, I see. <gasps> Fuck, okay. okay. First time inside a Dunkin' Donuts. At least it's my first time in a Dunkin' Matcha Latte and Chai Latte. Like, this is so fancy. What the heck? Guys, we just went to Dunkin' Donuts for the first time. Would you like to share what you oh got? Oh my gosh, I got some egg bites. We got some- Good ass, I don't know, what are these donut bites? I got hash browns, like mini, oh, mini things. hash browns. Caramel macchiato, or caramel cr cold cream. I got oh, a large chai latte. I supersized it, just like oh, how yeah. I'm in America. I should supersize everything. American dream, best country. The best world. country. This is good. First impressions, oh, how is your coffee? True. Good. It just tastes like a regular iced coffee. I don't really taste salt caramel in it. Oh, really? Yeah, mine mine is like kind of okay too. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Maybe it's on the top. Okay, hash brown, very soggy. Shit. I don't like it. Cause we are at Dunkin' Donuts. We need to get donuts, right? Yeah. This looks like a tin bit. Do it does, it literally looks Do you like wanna try tinbit. the same flavor? Oh yes, let's do that. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Mmm. I don't you like know, it. I think they just continue the powder one. Really? I think so. Why? Oh, I like this one. I like this. I kind of miss like the red thing on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I don't know what cream is. They have this. Let's try the red one. Oh my god, look at how every American gets a large. You getting a small? You ain't from here. You yeah. know that TikTok? Are you new? Are you new here? Yeah. Yeah. Are you new here? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. I haven't gone to a meal yet. I like this one. Mmm, jelly! <laughs> Yo, that one was good. We still got three flavors each. I'm gonna store it. How's your, how's your omelet? 
Oh, can I, I have one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, our favorite by far is the blueberry one. Mm. It was like a blueberry it's muffin. It's like very distinct yeah. smell and taste. It's like a blueberry muffin with only all the good parts. Like the top of a blueberry muffin mm. that's glazed. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, oh god. Yeah. The flavors are melting on my tongue. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. The flavors are melting on my tongue. <laughs> We are on our way to Target now because I bought too much and now I need to buy a suitcase to accommodate all the things I bought so I can bring it home. We're currently shopping at Melrose and Material Girls. Material Girls. Also, we are thinking about potentially getting a tattoo. Very just spontaneous. Yeah, just talking about it. We're just thinking about it. We're not going to do, do it. it. It is our last night here. Oh my god, we are jaywalking. We are jaywalking. Okay, we are on our way to the Ritz Carlton for drinks. As you guys know, if you watch our vlogs, the best thing that we like to do is we <laughs> the best thing we like to do is we like to go to the pack room for drinks. So we are trying to find a LA equivalent. So we're going to the Ritz Carlton. We don't think it's actually a thing here, but whatever. We're just gonna we do wanna, it. We like wishing hotels. <laughs> also, I didn't fill you guys in, but we also went to what is it? The Playboy Mansion. <laughs> we didn't actually see the Playboy Mansion. We drove around it but instead we just like drove we slowly drove around <laughs> slowly drove yeah around this like rich neighborhood and literally like our car was slow as fuck like just staring and there was security at the outside of the house yeah. <laughs> we were looking <laughs> sus as hell <laughs> we looked so sus anyway here's the red so we are here can't wait to show you guys